Hey friends, happy Monday. It is Connor here. I hope you guys are all having a great start off to your week and a great day. I am here to share you guys my empties from January of 2023. I cannot believe that we are already here at the end of January. Time is flying by and I know I say this every month that when I do my empties video at the end of every month, but um, truly like what happened to January, it really did come and go really quickly. I can't believe it's already pretty much February at this point. I'm filming this on Sunday, so a day before it comes out, but I'm just like, what happened to January? Um, But we got some good products emptied in January. I am looking down here at this a box full of empties that I'm about to share with you guys. Then I actually also have a basket. Sorry, I gotta move that forward. <laughs> Um, I also have a basket of empties right here with some body care, wax melts, and a bunch of stuff. This is a lot of stuff to go through. So that is what we are chatting today. If you're new here at the end of the month, I do show you guys my collection of stuff that I've emptied. And um, now I am ready to put this stuff in the trash can. I just need to give it some last minute final reviews and, um, you know, send it off in a good way. Um, I will let you guys know if I would repurchase or not. I will let you guys know if it's available still or not. Um, of course, I'll let you guys know all the details. Um, if you see a candle, let me find one. Honestly, I didn't use my candle crocs and my candle lamps, um, too much this month. So, I actually don't see any in here that have been used. Oh, I know that there's one down there. Anyways, if you see a candle and it's got wax left in it, it is still empty. I used it in my candle crock or candle lamp. So basically what they do is they melt the wax, but they don't burn. So the wax does not dissipate, um, but the scent does. So it smells like plain wax. Um, so I will, of course, let you guys know when um, that those candles come up. Also, I will link down below a video to my candle croc 101, and then I also just did a candle lamp 101. Definitely check out both of those videos if you are more interested in those topics specifically. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the empties. I am just pulling straight from the box here. No specific pattern. Um, I'm going to try and do the holiday stuff first, actually, because there's a good amount of holiday stuff in here that I finished. Um... At the beginning of January. So first off, Winter Night Stars from Yankee. This was a new one for their holiday collection this year or this past holiday season. I really like the scent. I'm actually really glad that I held off on burning this one till January just because I feel that this is more of a January scent and not as much of like a Christmas scent. This is very soft. It's very warm. Um, I believe I did a whole review on it. I know I did. But it's just a really pretty scent. I, I really like this one. And um, this is something that I would repurchase. I'm not sure if it will come back or not. Um, normally with Yankee, they keep the same scents in like their main collection. And then sometimes they'll bring back the new stuff. But normally the new stuff doesn't always make it back to the next year unless it did really well. And I'm not sure how this one really did. So this might be a one and done. But I did enjoy it for what it was. Um, okay, so more holiday spun sugar flurries from Yankee as well. This one was in a large jar. <clears throat> as you can see, it was pretty sooty on me and messy. That's just what I get with these large jars. I have so many of them, and I'm really trying to dissipate my collection for my Yankee candles. So um been kind of working on this. This one was actually given to me as a gift. I'm not really huge on this scent. Um not for me. <laughs> I know a lot of you share that you guys don't love this scent either. I got it as a gift, so I burned it and used it. Um, more holiday. White Christmas. This one, I really like this scent. This is a really good tree scent. It's different and it's unique. Um, this one is always around at Yankee and it's a classic for Yankee. I really like it though and I like to buy it during the Christmas time, so I did finish one of those. Um, <clears throat> some more holiday stuff from Yankee. I finished a lot of Yankee this month. Balsam and Cedar and the Three Wick. You guys know I love these Three Wicks, and Balsam and Cedar is, like, one of my new favorites. I kind of slept on this scent for a lot. I know that this is one of their best sellers over at Yankee, but 
I really like this scent. It's a really pretty tree scent. It's very basic for the holidays, but I just really like this and I really did enjoy this. I did a whole in-depth review and I love the strength on the throw that I get from the three wicks from Yankee. Um, another three wick from Yankee was the, let me get that before it falls, the Christmas cookie. Um, Christmas cookie is a classic. I always love it. This smells really nice. I It kind of smells like burnt because um, obviously I burnt it. So you can, you guys know when you like finish a candle, it's got like that burnt smell to it. I love the scent on this, but it does have that burnt smell. But um, I did really enjoy this. Always will buy Christmas cookie. It's just a tradition and a classic. My mom bought this when I was young. So very special to my heart. Do love that one. Um, okay, let's get into some other companies. Actually, I'll do this one. Vanilla Cupcake. I just recently finished this one up the other day, and I really love Vanilla Cupcake. This smells really nice. This is definitely one of my favorite, um, like, vanilla cake scents of all time. Yes, it's basic. Yes, it's vanilla, but I really do love it, and you guys know I love those basic vanilla scents, so this is super delicious and yummy. Of course, I will repurchase that again. Um, okay, now let's talk some other um, companies. Spun Vanilla Sugar from Homeworks. I finished this one all the way down. I'm kind of upset. I love the scent. It's nice. It's very basic. Again, it smells like spun sugar, but this had a very light strength and throw for me and a few other performance issues uh, with the wicks. But I mean, honestly, it burned down and looks pretty clean. But I did uh, really enjoy this candle and I would be willing to repurchase and give this a second chance. Um, I got it from Home Goods and it has the um, date on it, the F2022-0610, which is one of the dates from Homeworks that really does not work for me for some reason. Any candle that I purchase from Home Goods or from Homeworks with that uh, date code it just has a terrible burn and definitely got that with that. So I will have to repurchase this one sometime in 2023 and see if it performs any better for me. Um, okay, I finished the Limoncello Cupcake from Homeworks as well. This is another delicious gourmand. I really love this scent. This is Limoncello, Sicilian Lemons, Candy Lemons, Creamy Vanilla, and Baked Cupcake. Mmm, so delicious. I am really glad that I have one more of these downstairs, and this had a really nice strength of throw. The pour day on this one is from 2021, so I think the, like, the earlier the pour day, the better the burn will be. That just seems how it's going. I will say, though, I'm not going to get too much into this, but as you can see, I'm burning some of the new Hallmark's Valentine's Day candles. I actually just blew this one out um, before I started filming, but... You guys, I think the strength and throw has been worked on a little bit. I'll talk about it more in the reviews, which are coming soon, but um, just a teaser. <laughs> um, but for the Limoncello Cupcake, I really love this scent. I'm glad I have one more downstairs, um, and I will definitely get, the, get through that one this spring or this summer. But I just couldn't wait to burn this one. It is delicious. Oops, I just knocked that candle over. Thankfully, it didn't. Uh, break but that one actually just came out in the new Lux candles they're smaller I believe that they're 50 ounces which kind of stinks and um it's just annoying that like companies keep making the product smaller and it's not that big of a price decrease so it's annoying but I guess it is what it is um pink lemon shortbread from homeworks this one i really enjoyed as well this was a new one to me um it's pink lemon vanilla shortbread sugared citron and buttercream swirl this is really delicious i would definitely pick this one up again maybe even we'll get one more for this summer because this is kind of more of a summery scent in my opinion um it's pink lemon vanilla sugar vanilla shortbread sugared citron and buttercream swirl it's delicious. I love that scent. It's like a really interesting lemon scent. I definitely get like that bakery shortbread, but it also has like a pink vibe to it, like a pink lemonade almost. It's delicious though. Um, let me pull this one out. This is the toasted vanilla cupcake. I really enjoy this scent though. It did have a really light strength and throw for me and an abysmal burn. This one was poured in 2021, so I'm not sure what happened here. 
I love this though. I really love this scent. This is a really nice cupcake scent. It's got a tartness to it, but it's just really delicious. And this is something, again, that I'm going to give this another chance and buy another one and see if it will perform better for me because this smells really good. It's a really authentic cupcake scent. It's a little bit tart, but it's just a really delicious one. And I really love this. So it's vanilla, caramel, sugar, cream, and vanilla bean. So that is the toasted vanilla cupcake. Okay, now some holiday ones for homeworks. Vanilla pine. This one, oh, here's an example. This one I put under my lamp. That's why the wax looks a little bit dirty. This one had really peeny wicks on me and a pretty light strength in the throat as well. So this smells like wax, but this one was an interesting scent. It's not what I expected. The notes are pine needles, creamy vanilla, fir balsam, and sandalwood. It was very soft. It definitely had like a pine tree note in there, but it was also like got a vanilla, almost perfuminess to it. Um, interesting. I have another one downstairs that I will have to get through um, this upcoming holiday season, but um, very interesting one. I'm not sure if this would be a repurchase for me. Um, I just feel like there's so many holiday candles and this wasn't something that I was like in love with. I expected to really like it and then didn't live up to what I thought it would be, but um, just my opinion. Um, okay, and then the last homework's one in here. Oops, actually I have two more hiding under here. The last um, homework's ones I'll get through now. This is the white birch. This is white birch for a balsam, crisp winter air. This is a really pretty scent. I really enjoyed the scent. The strength of the throw was really light. It had a pretty good burn from what I can remember. But because the strength on the throw was so light, it was just really upsetting. This is another one that next year I'm going to be willing to give this another chance in hopes that it will have a better burn and just like smell more strong, obviously, and give me more of a strength on the throw. But um, I pleasantly enjoyed this scent and would be interested in picking it up again. Um, it's a pretty birch tree scent, though. So let's hope that that one can come back next year and have more strength and throw. Um, first Frost. This one was a really nice one that I found at Home Goods. I believe it was like a Home Goods Marshalls and TJ Maxx exclusive one because it just never showed up on Homeworks Not Shop for what I know. Um, it's Siberian Cedar, Douglas Fir, White Moss, Sparkling Citrus, and Chilled Eucalyptus. This is a really pretty one. I actually enjoyed it so much that I got another backup downstairs. I think it was a little bit light. It was poured in 2022-0609, so it was that terrible date. Um, this one had a, I can't remember. I did a whole review on it. Check out all of these candles. I did review a lot of them. But um, yeah, and in those reviews, of course, I go in depth in the scent and the performance for it, like the burn. Um, I can't remember if this one burned well or not, but I really enjoy the scent. It's really pretty. It's interesting. So I did pick up one more and I'm saving that for this upcoming holiday season. It still sounds weird to say this holiday season because we are in 2023 now. <laughs> so anyways, um, and then the last one for homeworks was the Vanilla Spice and Everything Nice. This one was Vanilla Bean, Allspice, Clove, and Sweet Apple. I believe this is technically a fall scent, but I still enjoy this one in January. Oops. This is a pretty scent. I really enjoy this scent, and I believe that the strength and the throw was pretty good on this one. Um, yeah, it was that bad date again. I got this one from Home Goods. A lot of those Home Goods Homeworks candles are those bad board dates, the 0609-2022. Um, so yeah, that was that one. I do think I'd repurchase this, but it's not something I would like run to. I, I like it though. So that is everything from Homeworks. Now let's chat. Let's do this one last Yankee candle that I never got to. This is the Inspire, which was the scent of the year for 2022. I really like the scent. This is pretty. It says it is an intriguing, effervescent citrus fragrance with nature-inspired green notes. Yankee Candle 2022 scent of the year is designed to inspire us to celebrate the everyday moments that bring us joy. The salty sea breeze accords further and variegate your senses. Oops, I dropped it. And variegate your senses 
with optimism, experience 2022 with a deeper sense of gratitude and experience with Inspire. I really like the scent and it burned pretty well for me, as you guys can see. I really loved the packaging on this one. Um, so yeah, this has been gone for a while because these are like limited edition, but um, they should be doing the scent of the year for 2023 soon. I think they normally release it in March, so be on the lookout for that. I don't know why. Am I like reacting? I'm like <laughs> reacting to something because I keep itching my nose. Um, okay, now let's chat some other companies. Let's do Bath and Body Works. Oh, that's Kringle, not Bath and Body Works. Um, I don't really don't have that much Kringle in here. Let's do Kringle actually. Donut Worry. Um, I really love Donut Worry. This is so delicious. Mmm, this is such a delicious gourmand. And you guys know the Kringle candles with the 100% soy have that beautiful, beautiful burn. As you can see, this one did go down all the way to the bottom. I truly love this scent. I would totally purchase this again, and I do plan on it. Um, Because you guys know I love the basic gourmand scents, and if it smells like a donut, please give it to me. So, um, really enjoyed that. Another Kringle that I finished was the... Yeah, that's it for Kringle. I only finished two Kringle candles this month. Interesting. Um, This was the Snow-Capped Frasier. I really enjoy this scent. I did crock it, as you guys can see. This smells like wax, nothing. Um, I crocked it because I really don't, and the wicks are not even noticeable. <laughs> um, but I did crock it just because I hate the burn of these. Um, this is the old soy blend. This is not the new 100% soy. These are just dirtier. They have puny wicks sometimes, and just it's not a great blend, which is why Kringle switched over to the same wax for these, but then it's a three wick. So it's got that increased strength and throw in. You guys, they are amazing. I've, a few, I've reviewed a few of them, so definitely go check out the reviews from my channel. But um, I really did enjoy the scent, and this is something I could see myself picking up again for the holidays. It's just a nice tree scent. So that is Kringle. Now let's chat Bath & Body Works. Um, only a few Bath & Body Works candles. First up, um, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Hot Cocoa and Cream. This one was put in my crock or under my lamp. I can't remember which one. As you guys can see, the burn is just not great. The discoloration. This was a nice scent though. I really enjoyed this scent. It was a nice mixture of like a cinnamon spiced vanilla with a creaminess. It didn't have a large chocolate note in there to me. I did do a whole review on it, so definitely check it out. It's cinnamon, sorry, it's decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, and vanilla bean. It smells to me like a milky drink. It's kind of like a coffee latte. I guess it's a latte, but I don't get a coffee note, but I get like that nice like spicy milkiness kind of. Sounds odd, but I actually enjoyed this one, and um, I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking up a few more of these because I want at least one back up. This one is gone now. It was a candle day exclusive, but I did actually really enjoy that scent. And then also from Bath and Body Works, Into the Night. This is one of my favorites in the body care. So of course, when it comes back for um, candle day, I had to get one. I should have gotten more of these too. I don't know what I was thinking on candle day. I probably should have purchased a few more of my favorites, but um. I love this scent and I adore it. I finished it all the way down. I actually had a really good burn experience with this one, which is great. Strength in the throw is amazing. The burn is excellent and the scent is just so nice. I love this. It's perfect for the bedroom. Like this is a perfect scent for your bedroom. It's sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, shimmering amber, and creamy musk. So pretty. If you've not tried this in the body care, definitely try it. Um, I believe the candle actually is online. I'm just now remembering that. I think someone told me that in the comments on the video when I reviewed this one. So I'll have to check online because I um, do definitely want a few more of these um, for me. So that was candles from Bath & Body Works. Oh, sorry, one more. I forgot this one last one from Bath & Body Works. Unicorn Sprinkles. This one I just finished and I actually poured the wax out because I was pouring it into another Bath & Body Works candle that had a very similar scent and then it, they're in the crock together. The other candle was um, the sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar mixture. I just reviewed that one as well. I just put them in the crock together and um, yeah, sometimes I do that by the way. I'll like put this one in the crock just so it can melt and I'll pour it and then put this 
all of the wax in the crock at the same time. I'll do that sometimes just to like save a vessel so I can get rid of this one. But uh, yeah, that is that scent. This one I liked it. I just realized that this was, a lot of you in the comments let me know, this is a um, dupe of the, what is it called? Wild Berry Jam Donut from Bath & Body Works, which I love that scent. It is really delicious. Um, I didn't realize that they're the same. Now that I smell it, I'm like, yeah, I do get a similarity. But I think really like they can throw you off with the packaging and like I really had no idea, so. But yeah, that is Bath & Body Works. Okay, now I did finish a few other candles that are like not my normal realm of Yankee, Bath & Body Works, Kringle, Homeworks. Um, starting off with, I finished the Nest candle. This is the Nest Grapefruit. Where is the Nest? See, you can see the little Nest down there. You can barely see it, but... I really love Nest Grapefruit. I'm actually going to save this vessel and repurpose it. I love the Nest um, vessels that they use. I love Nest candles. They're really just so bougie, luxurious, and make me feel really nice. <laughs> I know it sounds odd, but it puts me in a good mood. And they have some of the most beautiful scents. I really enjoyed this one. It's a grapefruit candle. It smells just like grapefruit. It's really pretty. I love this one in the kitchen. I did a whole review on it, but um, this is this is definitely something I would repurchase. It's more on the higher end. Nest is like $46 for this like eight ounce candle, I think it is. Is it seven ounce maybe? It's 8.1 ounces, so definitely pricey, but um, I think it's worth the money personally. That's just me. I totally get it though. If you're like, whoa, that is crazy. I will not pay $50 for a 8.1 ounce candle. I definitely get that. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> okay, so I finished that one. I did finish a sand and fog candle, which is um like these you can buy at home goods. I had this from a few years ago and I just found it in my candle collection. I was like, hmm, let me burn this. This is the scent vanilla sandalwood. I did a bath or I had a bath and I had this candle burning with it. This smells great. I like this and it actually burned. It tunneled a little as you can see, but the strength and the throw was pretty good on this. So yep. Um I finished a trap candle in the scent white fur. This is one of their seasonal candles. I like these trap candles. I don't really purchase from their website, but I um do purchase then when I find them at Home Goods and I like the scent, this is the white fur and I just crock this one down. Um, they burn pretty good for me. The strength in the throw is a little bit lighter than what I expected, but they do have nice scents. And I would, again, consider these more of like a luxury candle. Um, but I guess you get to define what do you guys think a luxury candle is? I think when it's a small candle and it's a big fortune, that makes it a luxury candle. But I guess that's up to you. That's another whole video and another whole topic to talk about. Okay, and then my last three candles I saved for last are the three Kaluna candles that are um, from my small business pick of the month from January. And um, if you guys didn't know, I'm doing a whole brand new series in 2023 where each month I will be choosing a different small business to purchase from, a specifically a small candle business. And I will be purchasing some of them and reviewing them. So um, yeah, I've already done a whole video on these, so I won't really get in too much into depth of them. And I've talked about them a lot, so I won't talk to you guys again about those, but did finish all three in the sense, lavender and white sage blood orange, and lemon drop. So yeah, that is all of the candles that I finished. Um, so yeah, now let's chat about, sorry, I'm just moving things around here so I have room, but now let's chat about my basket here that I have. I'm just gonna quickly go through these. There we go. I'm just gonna quickly go through these. My loofah, I always finish these. I try to change them out every month, so I probably need to get a new one soon, but this one was from a while ago. Um, there's so much stuff in here. This is intimidating. Let's start with the products first, and then we'll do wax melts last. I have a hydrating facial cleanser, cleanser from CeraVe. Um, this is such a good basic cleanser, but in a good way. Um, I still, you know, I buy these like expensive skincare stuff, but I still do like my, um, tried and true. These are really nice. 
you can get those at Ulta for like $10 drugstore, but they're still good and I do still use those. Um, that's what's taking up a lot of the room, this big thing. This is Head & Shoulders. I do use shampoo um, with this, but I primarily use this Head & Shoulders. This is great because I do have dandruff problems, but um, especially during the winter, I have to be careful to not wash too much, which I've been realizing lately my, my dandruff is getting worse the more I wash it. So trying to limit it to like washing my hair like every other day because I, use I normally would just wash it every day, but I think I need to start limiting down. But I did finish this one and this is just the dry scalp care. Um, finished a shower gel in Snowflakes and Cashmere. This is such a nice, pretty scent for the holidays. And I still really enjoyed it in January. This was just a really amazing scent. And this will definitely come back, come back every year. Um, I finished a body scrub for Into the Night. I love Into the Night. It, again, I talked about the candle, so... Really enjoyed this. This is the glowing body scrub. I know Bath and Body Works has a few different scrub formulas that they use. This is the uh, glowing body scrub. I can't speak. I'm like losing my words. <laughs> but um, this one is the scrub where it's kind of more of like a shower gel. Um, it's more of a shower gel type consistency. So that is that one. Um, do I have any more shower products? Yes. Starlet Night. I actually didn't finish this. My sister did. I never even used this, but when she came home, she needed a shower get, shower gel, and I gave this one to her. So, won't speak on that, but I do like the scent. Um, shower gel in Dream Bright. This was a pretty scent. I finished it in the shower gel and the moisturizing body wash. I enjoyed both of these. These. This was the holiday 2022 scent. Um, what are they called? The scent of the season whatever it is this is like the new scent the signature scent of the season so i did enjoy this um it is sapphire berries night blooming orchid and crystallized vanilla pretty scent okay that is everything for body care that i finished i believe now let's chat some hand soaps that are in here oh actually i do have this this is skincare the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I love this stuff. This is, I use this every day. It's really amazing and I actually need to go get some more, but really do enjoy that. Okay, let's chat the hand soaps now. I first off have, we only have one hand soap in here actually. Um, Coconut Mint Drop. I loved this scent, which is kind of odd because I normally don't love coconut, but I really enjoyed this and Sounds odd for, you know, like a holiday scent, like a coconut, but this was really nice. It's white coconut, ice peppermint, and winter musk. This is so pretty. I don't know why I like always slept on this one. It's white coconut, ice peppermint, and winter musk. It The coconut doesn't like overpower the, or sorry, the peppermint does not overpower the coconut and it works really well together. And the coconut kind of like calms down the peppermint. This is something that I want every holiday season. This is really, this is really nice. I was trying to find more of these at semi-annual sale in January when it was still going on. And um, I couldn't find any more of these, but I wanted some more um, to have for the winter because it's still winter, you guys. It's not spring yet. <laughs> um, okay, some more, sorry, I'm forgetting more of this body care stuff. This is a lavender mask from Tony Moly. I get these from Ulta. These are really nice. They're just pretty cheap. You know, they're just face masks. Nothing crazy. Um, I finished a, I finished two of these. These are bath bombs. I used this one the other night, two nights ago. This is the Japanese cherry blossom. Um, the Bath and Body Works bath bombs, I don't love them actually really that much. Um, they just, if I use a bath bomb, I'm using a Lush bath bomb. Those are my favorites because they really are the strongest and I feel what work best. The Bath and Body Works bath bombs are just very light and I don't like them. Like the scent is literally very undetectable. This is the cinnamon and the sandalwood. Now this is, this is an interesting scent. I don't know if I love this one. It was kind of odd. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> um, and then another face mask for lavender. Um, is that all of the body care finally? Yes, that's all of the body care. Okay, a car thing. I finished the Ocean Air. And I think that's the only car in here that I finished. Yeah, Ocean Air. 
Um, okay, now let's see. I finished some wallflowers. I'm using my wallflowers again. I know I um, stopped using wallflowers for a while. I'm back to using them because I found a bag of like 30 wallflowers downstairs in the candle cabinet. So I pulled out both of my wallflower plugins and I just put them in the hallway upstairs where I never really burn candles. They have wax melting. So the scents I put in there are eucalyptus rain and turquoise waters. It's a nice blend, very fresh, very clean. Uh, I don't even know what this one was. I think that this was maybe Peach Bellini. This was in my mom's bathroom, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that is the wallflowers. I did finish a Yankee Melt. I'm not sure what scent this is. Oh, this is Christmas Wish. I do know what that is. This is Christmas Wish. I love Christmas Wish. You guys know, one of my favorites. Okay, and then let's go through the wax melts quickly because this video is getting long. We're at 30 minutes now. <laughs> Um, I finished two of my Woodwick Trilogy Cafe Sweets. Um, delicious, delicious, delicious. Vanilla bean caramel biscotti. So good. So yummy. Mm, I love this scent. Um, I have like multiple backups of these. I don't want to live without this. This is so delicious. Love that. Um, okay. Yankee Candle Wax Melts. I have how many white spruce and grapefruit? I went through a lot of the white spruce and grapefruit melts this uh, season. Five of them? Yeah, five of the white spruce and grapefruit. I've really grown to like this scent. I normally, are, when this originally came out, I was not in love with it, but I've really started to enjoy it now. These only last me like a day, but I do enjoy that scent. Um, some more Yankee Melts pumpkin banana scone. So, so, so delicious. This is, this is delicious. Um, and then my classic cranberry chutney. I really enjoy this scent. So yeah, that is that. Um, a Kringle wax melt and lavender blueberry. I just actually did a whole candle review on this, but I really like this scent. It's a nice mixture of blueberry and lavender. Super pretty. Um, this is not available, unfortunately, so... Cannot link that one down below. And then some Scentsy Wax Blueberry Cheesecake. Oh my goodness. This is so delicious. I need more of this in my life. Um, my next order, I'm going to pick up another one of these. Um, this is delicious. And last but not least, White Amber Antique. This one I was melting in my bathroom. It's a very clean scent. Has like a coloniness to it. Um, but I did enjoy this. So yeah, that is everything we did. We emptied the basket and we emptied the big box. That is all my empties from January of 2023. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys finished this month. And um, did you guys finish as much as me? I feel like I finished a good amount without going too crazy. If you guys remember in December, that was crazy. I think I finished like 50 candles. That was overboard. Normally in the fall and the holiday season, I'm burning more candles. And then spring and the summer, I'm burning a little bit less. Um... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new here. Make sure to turn on the bell so you guys get notifications every time I upload. And I will see you guys again later. Bye.